Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today we're doing this highly requested build. We're finally doing a log cabin. I get a lot of requests for this type of build almost all the time. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this. Have fun. Let's take a little flip around and let's take a quick little look at it before we build it block for block. And there it is. Looking really, really cool. So we got a lot of details on here. We got some nice cross beamage going on here. We have a nice little area on the outside, textured and terraformed fireplace. Everything is looking really, really nice. On the inside, we have everything you need for survival. We got a little cooking area. We have storage. We have a little bedroom. Everything's really, really nice. This one is one of my personal favorite log cabins that I've ever done. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this. Let's just jump into it and start building it right now now and here are the materials we're going to be going with we're going with some oak log some strip spruce some spruce planks spruce stairs spruce slab some oak stairs oak slab oak trap door some oak uh, fences we'll go in with a little bit of a mixture for our fireplace of some cobble and some stone we got some barrels some campfires some glass and lanterns and foxes might be involved somehow all right and here we go with the dimensions and we're going to work this out we're going to count out all the blocks right now this box right here is a nine by nine with some pop outs on the edges this one right here is like a little five uh, by five box frame with some pop outs in the edges but we're going to count it all out and we're going to do most of this out of oak log and right here we're going to go up one two three four five six hello welcome wandering trader and the fox you scared the foxes away man whatever now get out of the way now we're going to Excuse me. Now, after this one, we're going to give it a space of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right here, we're going to go up another six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. Then we're going to turn this corner again, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then right here, we're going to go up again by six. And again, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth one, we're going to go up by six so nine by nine frames super simple then next up let's uh start popping out the logs first and this is my favorite part so right here we're gonna start with a log right there we're gonna go up on a log on this side up on this end and then we're gonna do every other one till we get to the top right there then over here let's just get rid of that little bit and we're just gonna cover it up with whatever you could just cover it up with grass that's fine then on top of all of these logs right under well right underneath every one of these logs we're gonna go with some spruce stairs we're gonna go right here underneath and then right here underneath all of those just like so and then one more right there now let's repeat this one over here as well so we're gonna go right here on the bottom end every other one like so till we get to the top then stairs above right there and continue that on this side so all the way up to we get to there and then just get rid of that little block underneath you can replace it with whatever now we got this so far let's repeat that pattern over here again we'll do it together so let's start right here on this side so stay on the bottom one up every other one till we get to the top get rid of that one replace it with anything then we're going to put stairs again in those gaps till we get to there now let's do it one more time over here so we're going to put them right here on this edge starting on the bottom there and then going every other one till we get to the top and then again, replace the little bottom piece, which is doing as a placeholder. Uh, and then stairs on the bottoms of those logs and one right there. All right, now let's start with this front section. So right here on this log in this corner, let's just turn it sideways. We're gonna put a little upside down stair here. We're gonna put a log sideways, upside down stair here, and a log sideways right there. Then on this one, we're gonna take the log up, an extra one, two, three, and that's it for now, three. We're gonna take this log this way, turn it, and go all the way down till you get to the end, just like so. Then we're gonna put a log here sideways and take this one up one, two, and three. We're gonna put a little upside down stair here, so that'll be our front door. And then here, I'm gonna put a log on this end. So give it a space of two and go up one, two, and three. Take these logs out and put them sideways. We're gonna put an upside down stair here and an upside down stair right there. And then we're gonna get our glass. I'm gonna put a glass like this and then put a glass like that. So we've got double glass here. Also a nice little trick that I've learned is if maybe you take some of those out and then put them sideways, you have like an open window. So I'm gonna do it like that, a little open window to make it a little different. That looks pretty cool. Then on the top here, I'm gonna put a log up in every other one like so. And then I'm gonna put upside down stairs on the gaps we missed, just like so. Then on top of that, we're going with one more beam 
crossed all the way down just like that so this is our little front facade then i want to add a little bit of an overhang so i'm going to get some campfire blocks i'm going to put them right here on actually this edge right there and then we're going to take it down right there just like that take it down one more and then we're going to put some trap doors on the ends of that and then I'm just gonna extinguish all these real quick. Then underneath that, we're gonna grab our oak fence. I'm gonna take it all the way down till it reaches the floor and here as well, all the way down till it reaches all the way to ground level. But I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna put a log at the end, just to give a little bit more support on that. I'm gonna grab some gates of oak and then we're gonna track this down from one end to the other and also here from one end to the other and then right up the center, just like so, giving us a cool little overhang bit there. Then on this side, we're going to go ahead and give it a space of one here by putting a little um, sideways log right there. And then we're going to go up, meeting up to this point. So one, two, and three. Then I'm going to cross right here. So one and two. Put a little one right here in the center and then upside downs again. Pretty much repeating what we did right on that little corner right there. But on this side. Then let's repeat this on this side here. So we're going to put a little cross right there. Upside down stair. One, two, and three cross beam here upside down stair here and then we're taking this one two right there perfect then on this one this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna do a nice little big old fireplace on this side so for this right now let's just make it a little bit simple uh, let's actually put that one facing up so we don't see it from the inside and then here for now and just for now we're gonna grab uh, just a little bit of cob we're gonna take it up one two three and four right about there then we're taking this up one more on each side, upside down stairs on both, and then we're cross beaming all the way down right about there. And just take that one up one more, and we're just going to leave that there for now. We'll work out the details on this fireplace at the end. All right, now we're here in the back. So for the back side here, we're going to do this. Let's put a little cross beam right here. I'm going to pretty much repeat what we did here on this side. So one, two, three. Then we're going to put our upside down stair, beam, upside down stair. And then we're going to grab and take that beam all the way down from one side to the next, just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing here. So cross there, stair, beam, upside down stair, one, two, and three. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to put, this time, we're going to put it just like this. We're going to put a window here. So we're going to go up one, two, and three. And then we're going to put a, a double glass right there on that side. Oh, and let's cross beam that guy, cross beam that guy little stair right there one and two now let's go up to the next one for this next one we're going to do the same thing we did over there by putting logs going up like so and then upside down stairs going up right here and then a cross beam going from one side to the other just like that then for this back side we're also going to do a nice little overhang bit so we're going to take it right to here we're going to go one two three four and five but a smaller scale now. We're only going, going to go down with trap doors by five and then take away all that plank. Then underneath here, we're just going to go with some gates. I'm going to put a gate here, here, and there. All right, now we're on this side. Now for this corner bit, this is what we're going to do. Let's do a little cross beam here, cross beam here. Repeat that style already. We did a bunch of times. So upside down stairs on both, little pop outs on both, upside downs are back, cross beams right back in there. And then on this side, we're going to go again with a upside down stair and an upside down stair there. And then we're just going to cross beam up here on the top, right there. Now we're going to work on this little pop out area. Now, one little slight modification I want to do. Let's get rid of this, these little stairs here because I'm going to make this roof a little lower. So just that everything else stays the same. But right here, let's come inside here and let's do a little cross beams on both these little corners. And we're going to repeat what we did here. So we're going to put upside down stair, oops, upside down stair here, upside down stair here. Take this up by one and two, cross beam that, take this up again, cross beam on these, I mean, oh, stairs upside down on both, and we're gonna cross beam right here on that side. Let's repeat this over here on this end. So we're gonna go with a uh, cross beam and cross beam. We're gonna go with an upside down stair, upside down stair. Let's go up one, two, and three. Beams cross there, upside down stairs on both, and we're gonna do a big cross beam right here. And that is the end of that little part of that wall. And then over here, let's get rid of these three, cross that all the way. Upset on stairs times three. Give it a space of one and two. We're gonna put glass here. So one row here and two rows right there. And we're gonna do a simple little cross beam right on that side right here. All right, let's start on this end. So we're gonna start right here. I'm gonna put a stair right on the bottom end of that. 
So it pretty much goes right where that stair's at. And we're gonna go with a simple step pattern. So stair forward, upside down, step forward, upside down, and just gradually going up until we get to the very, very center, which is right about here, right at that pole, right at that post. Put an upside down stair here, and a slab on the tippy top. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So let's start right here. So stair, stair, upside down, and we're just gonna meet up right over here. Perfect, so just like that. Then we're gonna take this down right here. So another one and two. Let's leave this little piece for now open. Then go one and two and an extra here. Then we're just gonna repeat that thing over here on this side. So let's do this real fast. There we go, perfect. Now that is repeated on this side. So next thing I wanna do is let's just take this all the way down right here. So an extra, I'm gonna take just an extra one here and a one here. Then let's do this little roof right here real quickly. So for this one, we're just gonna take our spruce all the way down to here. And then we're gonna do the same thing again on this side. So all the way down right to there, to that log. Then we're just gonna go up gradually again, just like so, until we get to the center, which should be right about here. And then we're gonna put a little slab on top. So let's leave that there for now as well. And we'll do the connections in a second. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is let's go right in here. And I wanna do one quick thing before we start lifting stuff up. I wanna get some logs. I'm gonna go right here with our log and I'm gonna place them right here on this corner. I'm gonna use a little, uh, well, this is not a placeholder. We're definitely gonna keep this. So just put this down and go up by two. This is a placeholder here. And then we're gonna go up by one, get rid of that. Placeholder and go up by one and get rid of that. Let's do it again on this side. So right here, one, up by two. Little placeholder, up by one. Placeholder, up by one. And then get rid of those. And we're coming up right to that end. Now let's do that on this side. So we'll do it again. So right here, one, one, two. Placeholder, block on top, get rid of it. Placeholder, block on top, get rid of it. Do it again, so one, one, two. Placeholder, block. Placeholder, block here. And we're looking really, really good right there. Now we're gonna do a couple here as well. So one, and then one and two. One, and then one and two. So we have that as well. Kind of matching what's happening on these other sides. I'm gonna go with oak stairs and nothing but oak stairs. So one, two, three. And then skip that one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do another seven here. And we're gonna do another little seven right over here. Then once we get to this top, we're just gonna cross all the way down these spruce slabs. Then I'm gonna get some trap doors. I'm gonna put them all on the top of those exposed log pieces going all the way up and down. And that's looking good. Now let's go on this side. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna put a window here. Also cool little flower box. So let's start right here first. So we're gonna go with our oak and we're gonna go down one and we're gonna turn this one here. We're gonna go right here one and turn this one right here. Just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just come on here one and two. Let's go one and two. Here we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna do a little seven going all the way down right here. Just like that. Then, check this out. We're gonna grab a grass block. Let's get this set up already. I'm gonna put grass here. One, two, and three, just like that. Then we're gonna grab some logs. I'm gonna put some placeholders here. So let's put three placeholders right there for now. Let's go up one on each side. Let's get rid of that one. We're gonna turn this corner, this corner, a little upside down stair, and then we're gonna go with some slabs, and we're gonna go with regular old oak slabs right here, one and two. We're gonna put a little glass right in here. That is looking nice. And um, we're almost done. Now let's connect this little piece right here. So for this one, we're gonna go with oak, one, two, three, one, two. Then this one connects right to that. Then this one connects to that, right there. Then we're gonna go one, two, and three, one, two, and a three. And then this connects to that, right? Oop, there, perfect. Then this slab connects all the way down, just like so, till we get to that point. Then what I wanna do is just put a stair right there and let's go ahead and put some trap doors on each side and that connects to that little piece and I love that. <laughs> now we're looking good. All right, now let's work on the fireplace part but let's make it a little more detailed. Let's take these out real quickly. Now that we know that's here, I'm gonna put a little beam right at this edge. Let's put those upside down stairs just to keep it uh, a little bit uh, more unique. I'm gonna drop this down one more. So right now technically we have a one, two, three, three up and a two up. Let's put a stair facing inwards like that Let's take this stair, I'm gonna take this sideways right here. Let's take this one up another one, two, and three. Let's continue that crossing going down. I'm gonna put a stair on top of this one. And then inside, we're gonna go up another one, two, three, and four. Let's drop our campfire. 
Let's drop some trap doors. I'm gonna just surround this right here in trap door, just like so. And give it a little bit of texturing by adding some of the regular old uh, stone, just like so. Let's also go up a little bit here. Let's take this up another one and two. Let's put a stair right on that side. Actually, no, just one and put a stair on that side. I think that's perfect, <laughs> just like so. All right, next up, let's start getting some details here done. So really quick, we have to put the trap doors here on these little corners on top of those exposed logs. We're also gonna put some right on top of these as well. For this little spot right here, what I wanna do is just put a little cross beam right there and let's put a stair going upside down in that little corner. Also gonna put a little bit of uh, overhang here as well with some campfires and that is it, just a couple campfires there. Let's leave that just like that. And also let's put some stone buttons on all the exposed log pieces inside this whole entire build, just like so. Looks like a little nails just went there and hit uh, to make sure that none of that moves. So that looks pretty cool, so something like that. And yeah, we got the nails up, there we go. Now, next up, let's do this little gap here in the corner. Oh, forgot those, there we go. Now here in the center, we're gonna do this. Let's give it a space of one, go with a log all the way to the top right there. Space of one, log to the tippy top right there. We're gonna go with a, uh, a stair, upside down right there. A stair upside down right here. Cross beams on the inside. And over here, I'm gonna go with a full block. And then here, we're gonna go with a full, just like that, and a stair facing uh, downwards like that. So here, we're gonna put a little window. So let's grab a quick glass in here and drop that in here. We're gonna grab a lovely old grass block and go one, two, and three. And then we're gonna put some trap doors right underneath here. One on the side, one on the side of oak, and then in the center, one, two, and three. And we got ourselves a nice little flower box on top. Then let's repeat this on the other side. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some berry bushes and it looks so cool, even though it kind of covers up the window, but who cares, it looks really, really nice. So we're gonna go bum, 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 and then drop the berries right about there. That's looking really, really nice. Now, we're almost done with the whole entire house, but let's go inside real quickly. All right, as far as flooring in here goes, we're gonna go ahead and just replace all this floor with some stripped spruce. So let's do this real fast. Here we go, check out the floor. Super cool, just some of the spruce. Just turn on its side, giving a nice little checkerboardy pattern. It looks very cool, especially for a nice little log cabin. But what we're gonna do is, uh, you see these little uh, pieces of wood right here. We're gonna make a little lofty second floor area. But before we do that, I wanna do something. Let's get rid of this little piece. I wanna do a little cross beam right here just to make it look a little nicer. Also gonna do a little cross beam right here to make that look a little nicer as well. So now that we're here, it's looking good. But watch this, I'm gonna get a stair. Let's actually start with a little spruce stair right here in this corner. I'm gonna put one right there. I'm gonna put a full block right here. I'm gonna put an upside down stair here. And we're gonna start making a little step up right here, upside down regular stair, upside upside down, regular one, upside down, regular one right here. This should lead up perfectly to right about here. Let's grab this log right here. Technically it's a little one, two, and on the third one, we're gonna go right here up. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that, give it a space of one, two, three. One, two, three, four, and five, just like that. And then this will be our level. I'm gonna put a slab now. We're gonna go with slabs right here underneath right on this, so one, two, three, and four. Take this up one more, then go down one, two, three, take this up one more, and then just cover the rest up in slabs from underneath that log all the way to this side. We just got to right here. And then, hello, can I fit in there? Thank you. And then one more stair here. And then just to match it all up, little upside down stair in that corner and that just seamlessly just transitions nicely. Also, actually, let's get rid of this little piece. Let's put some cross beams here. I think it'll look a little bit better. And this just goes up right to this spot and then we have this little lofty area. Uh, but you know what? Let's take it up again, one more each, and let's get some fences. And we're just gonna cover this part up just so no one falls down with some oak fence. One, two, three, and one there. And then on top of that, get some trap and go like that. Now, a little bit of uh, extra detail I wanna do is, let's grab some stairs. I'm gonna go upside down stairs, one, two, three, and a little cross beam right here. Get that detail from this side, and then we have more space. Uh, we're gonna do exactly what, we, we, what we've been doing by putting some upside down stairs here. Logs going this way. Upside down stairs here, up, like that. Get rid of that one. I'm gonna put a stair facing downwards here. Then I'm gonna grab our door. And we're gonna put this right on our little gap right here. We're gonna put a little door right there. Lovely, that's looking pretty cool. Then let's go ahead and put a door right here, have that ready. And the only thing I don't like is the little exposed log pieces there. So we can go ahead and switch that up 
just so we can not have that piece. So really simple, just get one of these little bark block looking things and that should do everything perfectly. So I'm gonna put this upside down stairs here, upside downs here and a little cross beam right there. I'm gonna grab a lantern and we're gonna drop this down from the tippy top right there. All right, now, if you wanted to make it as a two-player base, super simple, you have two little barrels, and we got two of our beds, one on each side, perfect when you come in, two-player spot right there, and then you can put a little armor stand in the middle, or you can put armor stands on the sides if you're sharing, and then uh, in the center, I would just maybe even go with a little bit of a bush. Uh, we could put a bunch of other things here, like uh, really anything, really. We can go with some of these lovely old uh, chests, guess and trap doors, and then we can go ahead and just put like a little bit of a lining up here. Maybe even add a couple more barrels and stuff like that. If you're doing as a single player uh, room, let me show you. I would pretty much just maybe just put one bed on the corner right there. We got our barrel there. Uh, maybe a little flower pot on this side. Here we can even do a little bit of a writing desk. So uh, let's go with some stairs. Really simple right here. I'm going to go with a little simple desk right here on this side. And that is looking really lovely. We can even put an uh, extra bit uh, by putting maybe another lantern here. Put a little armor stand and place your armor on top. So it really depends. It's up to you guys what you want to do here. But it's a little example. This looks pretty cool. Uh, also get a little bit of sea pickle action. Why not? And maybe get, uh, I don't know, maybe some paintings as well. And also a little bit of carpet would do just fine by putting some right about here. Uh, maybe adding a little painting on the side. That is perfect. So something like that. Really, really simple, but it does the trick. Now for this little corner here, I wanna make this almost into like a little potion brewing section. So let's make this look cool. So I'm gonna put a little soul sand here. I'm gonna grab some of the nether wart on this, drop it on top. Let's put a little trap door, one, two, three. Close that up. On this one, we could do a little bit of a barrel action right there. We can actually go in here and add like a little bit of random storage. So we could do something like barrels here, extra barrel. Let's put a chest on top of this part right here. And that looks pretty cool. Then here we can get a cauldron and we could drop that in the center bit right around there. Grab your water and we can have that ready for brewing some potions. Maybe a little bit of uh, our lovely old brewing stand here. We can even add a couple more uh, details up here by maybe grabbing another barrel and maybe even another brewing stand extra right there on the side and that looks lovely uh, if anything you know what we could do actually let's get rid of this little bit we could do a little bit of a cross beam there so that we can hang some lighting from that and that looks pretty good we can even do one here let's just do it right there just to make it look pretty cool and match kind of where those beams are all right now for this side let's dress this up a little bit i'm going to put a log right here so let's go up one two three four and I'm thinking five and six, and we can cross beam right here. Actually, let's just cross beam right there like that. Then I'm gonna put some barrel storage here. So one, two, three, four, and on this one, let's put a little stair facing uh, upwards like that. So we have a little storage unit right here. And then here, we just for added detail, we could do something like that and maybe even a cross beam here. And then we have this space to get up and down. And that looks pretty good. So we have this whole area looking nice. Then we have this little gap here. I, I think that's fine. I'm okay with that there. But if you wanna cover that up, you can maybe put a little trapdoor line going down like that. Kinda looks like drawers on the side too. So that looks pretty cool. Then on this end, what I want to do is also cover this part up with barrels. So let's put them on this side. So one, two, three. Uh, let's do a little cross there and we can go with another upside down stair on that side facing this corner. Now for this little kitchen part, I want to knock these two out. I'm going to put a smoker and a blast furnace there. You can pretty much put anything, uh, even regular furnaces are fine. Uh, then I want to do a full block on each side and some stairs here and then upside down stairs above. And then we have that little spot there. We can even texture it just a little bit if you like uh, by putting some regular smooth stone here. Uh, and then we can also maybe mix in if you want a little bit of the smooth stone stair on some of these. If you want to just texture, you don't have to, but something like that looks great. So that is our little spot here. And then on this side, we're going to make a nice little seating area. Uh, so let's grab some stairs. I'm going to go with regular old oak and I'm going to put a little stair right here and a couple stairs right there we're gonna grab some scaffold drop that in the center grab some signs and i'm gonna go with spruce and drop these 
on the corner bits, just like that. Then on top of here, we can put a little bit of an extra spot. So here we can just play around. Let's grab some trap doors and maybe do like a little lining up here of just random junk scattered all the way around on the top. So let me just pepper in a little bit of maybe some barrels kind of like stacked right here. Maybe a little bit of a chest. Do we have a chest anywhere here? Yeah, let's grab that chest right here. Uh, just random junk, just scattered on top. Uh, we can even get some flower pots up top here. We can even uh, just go nuts. Maybe here we could put the, the grindstone. Maybe we could put the, uh, the stone cutter on top here. So this could be like a little random workstation up top here. That's not how you spell stone cutter. That's how you spell stone cutter. So we could throw maybe one here on the side. Maybe uh, a little grindstone here on the corner and just random junk on the top. If you want to make it look even better, maybe some of these could uh, just be some stairs like that. And then some of these also could be uh, just some random slabs. So this could look very, very worn and uh, just beat up to something like that. That looks pretty cool. And then again, you can always hang some more lights right here on these corners. So right around here, you pretty much lit up pretty nicely. Uh, if anything, you can always throw another light over here if you're in need of it. Now, in this empty corner, I want to add like a little grandfather clock, and I did add this recently in my single player world, and I love the way it came out. It came out pretty cool. So, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to put a barrel right here on the bottom. Uh, we're going to put a bell right on this edge right there. Perfect. Then, I'm going to grab some trap doors and go up one, two, three. Let's go right here, one, two, three. Close these up. But I am going to rep Ooh, let's switch that up. I'm going to replace this middle one with a, a regular old uh, oak one, just so you can change it a little bit. And let's go in there. Boom. Perfect. I'm going to go inside here, drop another. Actually, I'm going to put a barrel here. That's looking good. Then on top of that, we're going to put a item frame. I'm going to grab a clock, put that on the top of that. And then we're going to put a slab on top of this. And this is looking really, really awesome. So there's a little grandfather clock. You can come in here and ring that bell. Another thing, what if we connect? Ooh, actually, if we connect that, it looks a little bit cooler. Either way, you could do it hanging or you could put it on the bottom. Either way, actually, this looks cool. I know it looks like it's supported on its side. The little grandfather clock right there. That's looking awesome. All right, and we're all done. It's looking very, very cool. I did a little texturing, a little terraforming outside, adding some extra details to make this place pop. But you know what? Let's flip. Let's take a look. Right there. Oh, yeah. There it is. Looking really, really cool. So this is a log cabin after all. So why not have a little spot so you could do some lumbering, some lumberjacking. So we have ourselves a nice little traditional old school, just logs wrapped up with some rail. But we added the 114 goodness by adding some campfire blocks here on the side, unlit, looking really, really cool. Also a nice little fencing here with just some oak fences and some bushes surrounding it. Uh, some barrels on the side with lanterns. And that just adds so much. Just that little corner right here. Uh, also, we got a little chopping block over here with uh, an item frame holding up a nice little axe with an unlit campfire there on the side doing some work out here uh, on the corner here we have just extra bits of detail like extra barrels extra chests and that does so much just to add that little bit of extraness on the outside it looks like it's alive and people are actually working out here uh, also added some composters with some bushes in here and that's looking really really awesome we have that also on this side we add a little bit more overgrown some tall grass tall ferns and a little bit of bush actually i love that wrapped around here on the side i didn't go too crazy but just every once in a while a little bit of stash a little stash of bush on the side just uh, connected to the corner as far as the path we have here on the ground we have some coarse dirt a little bit of um a hole right there let's cover that up no we have some coarse dirt some puzzle some little rock formations here with some of the mossy that's looking really really nice and uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Is that looking pretty cool? As far as the flower boxes, we have uh, these lovely old sweet berries. And over here, check this out. We've got some dark oak saplings. So if you only have them separated like that, they won't grow. And it looks like little tiny little plants. Also a little fern on the top. Looking very awesome. Let's take one more look though in the inside with shaders. And what do you guys think? This is so much fun to make. I love this place so much. I would actually live in this thing in real life. For real. For real. Uh, just get me close to the water. We'll do a little fishing every once in a while. Do some chopping chopping. Living our best life out here in the wilderness. Why not? But uh, that's all there is to it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. You guys have been amazing. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see next in an upcoming video, tutorial, let's play. Let me know down below. And I might do it for an upcoming episode. I know you guys have requested this so many times. So hopefully this uh, lived up to all the hype right here this, i like it so much though we might do a bigger version or maybe even a smaller version let me know if you want to see different versions of this log cabin but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching I'll catch you guys on the next minecraft video goodbye